what's good youtube it's your man bg tech life and today i want to talk about android 14 and it's officially out as of yesterday october 4th google had an event they actually dropped the pixel 8 the pixel 8 pro and they dropped android 14 official so let's get into it okay guys i got android 14 on my pixel 7a and i just want to talk to you guys about a couple things now how i got it you guys should be able to go to settings type in system update check for update it should be an update for you guys for android 14 especially you guys that's still on android 13 that's not in the beta program now you guys that are on the beta program it may be a little bit more difficult i know myself yesterday i adb side loaded android 14 while i tried to i was on the beta I was on beta QRP1 when I tried the ADB side load Android 14, that was considered a downgrade and it wouldn't happen on the device. So what I had to do was download basically Android 13 for my Pixel 7a. Once I downloaded Android 13 and installed that, then it allowed me to put the official Android 14 on my Pixel 7a after I went back to 13. So that's just a little heads up if you, you know, enter the beta and you mess around with ADB side loading and things of that nature. But it was a nice tutorial. I think at nine to five Google did. I'll put a link down in the description if y'all wanna check that out or try that out. Or if you having any issues, sometimes you can just ADB side load and just clean your whole device up. To me, it's not a lot of differences between Android 13 and Android 14. I will say a lot of what Google focused on was customization now we getting a lot more customization with the home screen and the lock screen with the lock screen getting a lot of different fonts and clock widgets that you can change between you can change the color and the size of those widgets and i mean it just looks very dope and also with the home screen what you getting is outside of like being able to change the palette and the accent colors on the system ui you're getting now emoji wallpaper and you get a cinematic wallpaper. So Google is doing it big on the customization tip for Android 14. Now me, myself, I noticed different things like animations I changed. Like as you see, I got different uh, multiple home screens. And when I go between those home screens, you see is a new animation also, which looks pretty different. It's pretty neat. I'm not gonna say they cleaned it up, because this is this is actually added stuff this is not cleaning it up but i like this little uh animation that they got going on when you switch in between uh your home screens but what i do suggest that you guys do if you want to really get familiar with your pixel and everything that's available to you because i find myself in that state you're not going to find everything on youtube because a lot of this stuff is dialed deep into android 14 as far as changes that have been made but um if you go to search settings and you just look up pixel tips and i mean it's a whole library of things and they might not be all new features but it might be features that you've never seen before as far as certain things that you can do with your android device and let's just take a couple looks at them so you got the customization the first thing that jumps out to us is the cinematic wallpaper and then you go back create an emoji home wallpaper an emoji wallpaper is dope guys i've been doing that for a while now like i said i've been on the beta so a lot of the stuff is not new to me match your app icons to your wallpaper and style you're actually getting the uh, theme icons of course we had that for a while now customize your home screen with your favorite widgets of course we've been rocking widgets but some of this stuff is just dope. So you might want to, this is a nice refresher. Match your colors to your wallpaper, of course. Now let's just check some of these pro tips out. Automatically adjust your screen's refresh rate. Of course, you can put it in 90 Hertz. Um, make your movie sound more immersive. We got the spatial audio now. So that's something new, that's something big. Get hands-free help without saying HG word. Use the app in your preferred language. So a lot of like i said a lot this phone is a great secretary a lot of lore stuff baked in automatically ca caption your calls these are things that we already had also guys now i notice when you go to the camera boom you go to the camera and now instead of going between swiping all the way over for video you got a camera and then you got video you can go from video to camera really easy and all these settings would just be camera settings or do I switch the video and all these will be 
different video modes and things of that nature that the camera can shoot in. But me, myself on the channel, guys, I really want to dive deep into Android 14 and really get my setup together. I'm just putting you guys on notice because, like I said, I will be doing a full battery test. I will be doing a full review on the Pixel 7a after Android 14. So give me a week or so. I'll probably start on the battery test after I get my device set up exactly how I want it. And after I, you know, get rolling, I'm probably going to definitely come back with a Pixel 7a after Android 14 review and see if this is making things easier. I know it's made things a lot more custom, but um, yeah, I was just checking in with y'all, sharing my experiences going from the beta to Android 14 and just letting y'all know that y'all go ahead and download Android 14 if you on the P Pixel 4a 5G all the way up to the Pixel uh, 7 Pro and soon it'll be Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro. It's your boy BG Tech Life. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Peace. <music>